All right, hey guys, let's talk about optional chaining. I hope that I don't have to go through this like boxes again. Again, optional chaining is the idea is like you have an optional, it's like a box. Within the box, there's another box. And then you want to access that third one, right? You open that, there's another box. And you want to like use option binding again to access the third one. How you can use the optional chaining to get over all of those optional binding check because you only want to access the third thing in that box. So let's talk about that in this demo. Let's talk about optional chaining. What is that and how you can use that? So I'm going to create a new playground and call this guy optional chaining like this. And click over here and we create. Awesome. Now, optional chaining. For example, I have like uh, several structs for our one of the app that we have. So um, a lot of times that you have like apps that store photos, um, you have several things. For example, you have the data of the photo. You have the uh, location that is the photo is taken. You have like the account of the user who takes this photo, right? So let's have that. Number one, the number one structure I have is location taken or just left let's have a struct on location like this and then i have a var the type is an integer and the var the y is an integer how about let's have a double because the latitude and the longitude is usually a double okay so let's say this is latitude and this is the longitude like this cool next thing let's have a struct for our photo and a photo very simple it has some data right the data on photos on videos anything that you see on your computer on your phone on any kind of devices it can turn into a bag of data zeros and ones unless you use that in a quantum computer <laughs> which we do not program for at least now okay so var data here we put as ns data I'm sorry, as data, like this, okay? And then we have var, the location is our location, like this. Now, here comes the job of a developer. The data of the photo here may not exist because maybe there's some corruption with the camera. Maybe there's some internet connection that when you download the photo, it doesn't give you the data. So it can be nil. And to denote that this thing is nil, we use the question mark, right? And the same for the location. Maybe the user turns on location services. Maybe the user does not. So we have to use optional here to note that this can be nil. It can be nothing. It doesn't have the value. Cool. All right. Let's have another struct called profile data. Okay. The data of the profile about let's have the profile data let's have the profile like this and then the profile it has like a photo which is a photo and it has a unique ID which is a string now in this case in this case the unique ID is required because every single user must have a unique ID otherwise it will corrupt the whole infrastructure of an app but the photo, the user may provide you a photo or may not provide you a photo. So again, that is optional, right? So I hope that by giving you like different examples, different ways to think about ex uh, optional, you'll have better understanding of optional. Cool? Okay. Let's have the last structs that we talk about. Let's say we have a struct called account. And this account has like a var username is a string and it has a profile which is a profile of the user okay now uh, it's may not make sense if we separate these two objects but i just want to demonstrate to you the idea of another feature of optional here okay so now this profile Maybe when we download it, it is option. It is like we cannot download it because like the photo, we have to download the photo and uh, some internet connection happens. So locally in our app, it doesn't exist. So let's denote that it is 
meal. Okay. So now let's have, for example, I have an account. Let's my account equals to an account like this. And we have something like uh, username is the trend. The profile, I want it to be nil. Cool. Okay. Now let's say I want to have somehow of helper method. A helper method that allows me to get access to my uh, the data of my photo. The data of my photo. So if I want to access the data of my photo, I have to access from the my account. Right? So my account dot what is that profile and then goes into the profile we want to access the photo and then in order to have the data of the photo we have to access the data property make sense so my account dot profile so dot profile like this right and then in order to access the photo we have to dot photo like that and then in order to access the dot photo, we have to access, in order to access the data of the photo, we have to access dot data, right? All right. But now, this thing, does it seem weird? Because it has an error right here. And you see that there's an error over here. It says, value of optional typed profile, not ungrab. Did you mean to use the uh, un explicitly ungrab? Huh. Now, the problem with this is that this profile right here is an optional and the profile optional does not have these values okay but in order to use these values you have to ungrab it right but you ungrab it like this because this is nil so it is going to crash the app it is unsafe so we have to use yeah we have to use optional uh what's that optional binding so uh optional binding if let's, how about let me make a um, a helper method over here, okay? So functional, uh, how about get user picture data? But I know that this is not a good guy, so function, how about we have like not a good way to get photo data like that, and then it returns for us data like this, okay? And then the method but now this data right here it may or may not have the data so we use optional okay so let's delete this line over here so here not a good guy number one if we want to access the data up to, up the chain like this number one we have to access the photo but the photo here can be nil so we have to use if let profile equal profile data equals to or you know what? Let's uh, if let's ungrab profile equals to profile like that. So this ungrab profile is going to be a profile, not profile optional. You see this? But now, and then another one. Let's have if let we want to access the photo, but we also have to ungrab the photo. So ungrab photo equals to ungrab profile, and now we can access the dot photo. You see this and open and close goalie braces. Okay, now you see the pattern that we use a lot of ungrab here. Do you see that? Yeah, so the fact is that this will create a local variable, a local constant for a local constant for th this uh, clause over here. This is only this if let and inside that. So, in fact, we don't have to use ungrab pro profile. We can just use profile. And look what is the type of this. Profile. But it is different from this one. Okay? It is not this one. It is the ungrab of this one. It is a different property. Make sense? And then the same for this. So, let me change the profile here into this guy. Again, this is not this one. Not this one. But it is this guy is this let's guy. Cool. And then this guy we can use photo too, not uh, like lengthy name, okay. And then from this photo, if I want to access the data, I want to return the photo dot data immediately, right? Okay. So I can return that immediately. So this can be nil or it can be a back of data. Now if this guy is the 
profile here is nil. So this if let's clause will never happen at all, then outside of this I have to return nil. So that we know that there's no data. Okay? Makes sense, right? Cool. All right. Now this is not a good way, obviously, because you see that we have like two optionals here, and all we want to do is we want to access the damn data, right? And so how can we do it differently? How can we make sure that we do it differently and better? There comes optional chaining. The idea here is that you want to access like the upper chain of some values of some optionals. So you want to do all of these things in just one line of code and safely. So here is the good way. Funk get user profile picture data and we returned a data optional just like this very simple just like this right but here instead of doing a bunch of lines like that i'm going to just return our profile which is this guy again we are in the account our profile and then we want to access the photo property but the photo property it can be nil so we use the optional chaining operator like this and then we dot photo okay and then this photo again here it is optional and so it can be nil so we want to access these properties but we want to do it safely so i will use optional like this remember it is not that but this okay and then we dot data and you see that there will be no error everything is safe everything is cool but what is the idea behind this all? The idea behind these all is that we want to use this optional training property, and this optional training property only means, only means, is that we want to access okay profile of this guy, but it can be nil. So if it is nil, then don't access this because if it is nil, don't ungrab it because if we ungrab the nil property, it will be nil, uh, it will crash the app. So all it means is that if this is nil, don't do the whole chaining like this. Just return the nil. If this profile is nil, we will have this is nil. The return is nil. And if it is not nil, we go deeper into this. We access the photo, right? If it is this profile is not nil, we access the photo. And if the photo is not nil, then access the data. But if the photo is nil, then return nil and do not access the data or do not call any method behind this chain makes sense right okay i hope that it makes sense and if it doesn't make sense please just ask your question below for me okay now that is optional chaining pretty much we just access a chain of optional properties like these and using like a helper operator like that but the um it is very convenient why and programming wise uh, for like swift programmer it's very very convenient and really safe but in pro uh, performance wise it means that the uh, implementation of these alts these lines of code is practically the same things as these under the hood this thing swift the compiler of Swift or Swift, um, the what's that? The SDK of Swift. It's just do this. Okay, it's just more like generalized. Cool. So behind the scene, it will just like this. So I know this is just like concept, and um, it's just the first time maybe you know about this. So behind below this video, you will find a link for you to download a code challenge project for you to try these ideas out. So please, as always, try out the code challenge. Download your code challenge project and try it out. And let me know what do you think about that. All right, my friend, that is optional chaining. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I know that the process of going through all these things and learning optional, learning anything new, especially in programming, in the programming syntax like this, it's just hard. And sometimes it doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's 
just leaves us no clue and it's just confused things that is already confusing I know it but you are here meaning that you have been completing four lessons so far and I honor you for that and I'm just honored to be able to serve you in this course I know that someone who is the one who not only takes the time to go into a training course like this and take the time to learn and level up their skills and not only that but they take the time to complete the course really stay at it and complete the course that's the one who's going to make it that's the one who's going to succeed so i know that i talked i'm talking to the one who is going to succeed so i congratulate you on that congratulations on completing this optionals course and as you may know that I love education. I love to help you even more in this journey to build apps to become a great developer. So I have a program that I'm going to talk about in the next lesson, where to go from here. And I'm going to share with you how to build 11 apps in just five weeks or less in Swift. So I would love to have you in the program. Again, it is not mandatory, of course. It's just my way to serve you even more in this journey. So I hope that you join me there. I hope that you continue this learning journey with me. If you do not take out a course, that's okay. But continue to learn, continue to build up your skills and help other people, my friend. So in the next lesson, I will share with you how I can help you even more. I would love to serve you even more in this journey even more advanced training so until then go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world i see you in the next video